So I-525, we had a great mission. So specific in that iron, we wanted to look at the performance distance space, but deliver that in kind of our smallest iron and really that player's blade inspiration with distance. We wanted to really look at how do we deliver a better proportion set to the design from the longest iron all the way into the wedges. It's much more modeled off of I-210. So the amount of offset, the blade length, the top rail, all of those proportions have been brought into this design because we think it fits more aligned with the consumer. So it has that feel of kind of our larger precision design, but has the distance that you get out of our performance models um, and our distance focused designs. There's elements of the structure and we've focused on the face structure design, the internal undercut within the structure. All of those things help us get more face deflection, but doing it in a way that's very consistent. We talk about having ballistic ball speed, but having it done in a consistent fashion that shots around the face deliver more consistent results. You get the proper trajectory. You're not just delivering distance in a way that's not usable by the golfer. So enhancing the feel and impact experience with I-525 looked at our EVA polymer, its position and the amount in the club head. And so every head is getting the consistent location and the disbursement amount um, and just overall mass that makes it just consistent across every club, every set, every build. Uh, so that when you hit your longest iron to shortest iron, you get a much more consistent and cohesive uh, impact experience. We've actually kept the lofts and preserved them to where they were with the original I-500, which we think is in a great balance of delivering ball speed, but also having the right trajectory. At the same time, we do have fitting offerings there. So we have our retro spec, which is actually taking loft and adding it to the design, as well as our power spec, where you can actually deal off the clubs and develop that in a way that delivers the right trajectory, the right response that we want to see for golfers of all abilities, all swing styles and the signature of their swing uh, to get kind of the optimal fit for this set of, of irons. Forgiveness wise, it's extremely forgiving. It's in our performance player space. It basically straddles in between where our I-210 and where G425 fit in, but has the performance characteristics of our distance iron, but a lot of the key elements and shaping that we see with our precision irons. Specific on I-525 as well, we have the Micromax grooves. Um, and so what players will notice right away is more grooves on the face and more tightly spaced. Why they're there and why it delivers better performance is that that groove geometry, as we move that from the long irons into the wedges, helps maintain spin, which is a great item on uh, distance irons and really where we're packing in a lot of distance. And then going into the short irons is where we actually help reduce variation out of different conditions. So um, the, the, the type of shot that would lead to a flyer, this type of groove geometry helps minimize that effect and see more consistent distance to distance shots um, and better control of their distance.